to Mama Fox Books Storytime Saturdays. Valentine's Day is coming right up, and it's also Arizona's birthday on February 14th. So in honor of all the love in the air, we're going to be reading Lily the Lovable Ladybug. This was written by Debbie Chamberlain. Dedicated to you, my beautiful reader, and the light that you share with the world. Talk to yourself like someone you love. That's a quote from Brene Brown. Lily the ladybug loves to flutter around mindful land, spreading kindness to all her bug friends. When she notices her bug friend has a frown or hears an unhappy shout, she rushes to see how she can help. I love to help my friends. One day, as Lily was crawling along a leaf, she saw Annie the ant scurrying frantically along the path. Her little ant body looked tense and tears were rolling down her face. Lily flew right over to see how she could help and gently asked, what's got you so sad, my little bug friend? Annie began to cry harder, saying, I'm always anxious and I feel scared. What if I don't get these crumbs back to my family? They are relying on me to bring them all. Lily looked into Annie's big round eyes and reminded her how powerful her thoughts in her mind are. Lily smiled and softly said, you can change those anxious thoughts into ones that will create a happy story in your mind. I am strong. Annie looked puzzled, so Lily suggested, for example, you could tell yourself you were doing your best. Annie paused for a moment, wiped the tears in her eyes, and smiled. I am doing my best, she exclaimed. Lily and Annie took a deep breath together. Lily said proudly, always remember you are brilliant and bright. Thank you for sharing your beautiful light. As Lily the ladybug flew away, Annie looked up to realize she was not that far from her family. Feeling inspired, Annie proclaimed, I am brave, I am strong, I can do this. And off she went. Busy Bee was buzzing all around the garden when all of a sudden he got very dizzy. Help, he cried. Luckily, Lily was about to visit the garden and heard him shouting. She quickly flew over to see how she could help. Ah, help. Hi, Busy Bee. What's got you so buzzy? Busy Bee glanced at Lily with a frantic look and blurted, I have so much to do and my mind is racing. Lily looked at Busy Bee and said, sometimes that can happen when we get so busy. We need to pause and just be in the moment. Come with me and I'll show you how, encouraged Lily gently. Here, come with me. Look at the beautiful colors of the flowers. Feel the warmth of the sun. Touch the soft green leaves, suggested Lily. Wow, it's beautiful, I feel so calm, exclaimed Busy Bee. Lily and Busy Bee took a deep breath together. <sighs> Lily said proudly, always remember you are brilliant and bright. Thank you for sharing your beautiful light. Busy Bee felt much better after taking a moment to pause and breathe. So Lily Ladybug waved goodbye to Busy Bee. She decided it was time to head home after a long day of helping her buggy friends. On the other side of the pond, Sammy's spider silently crawled along the grass while watching all the other spiders spin webs in a tree together. Feeling very lonely, he started to cry. Shall we count the spiders? One, two, three, and Sammy makes four. As Lily was flying home, she heard Sammy sobbing and went right over to see how she could help. Why the sad face, my friend? Lily asked lovingly. I'm too scared to ask my spider friends to play, Sammy whimpered softly. Lily knew just what to say. Yes, that can be hard, but you can do hard things. Just close your eyes and visualize yourself having fun with your friends. Sammy smiled and saw himself having so much fun. Are the spiders all together? One, two, three, four. That's his vision. 
As Lily gets closer to home, she hears Gus Grasshopper yelling into the wind. No! Curious, Lily asks. Why are you so grumpy, Gus? All the leaves are blowing away, and I am so hungry. I just want to eat dinner, Gus shouted. Empathizing with Gus, Lily responded. It can be so frustrating when things don't go our way. When that happens, it's best to think about everything that can go our way. What do you mean? Gus asked with a grumble. Well, we can't always control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond to it. The wind won't last forever, and when it does stop, you can gather all the yummy leaves you need, Lily explained while catching a leaf. Hmm, I guess you are right. It's not like the wind is going to blow all the leaves away, Gus said. Feeling more calm, Gus was finally able to catch some leaves. As Lily flew to her home in the flowers by the pond, she thought about her day. I hope I was able to help all my bug friends. I wonder, who do I still need to help today? She landed on a lily pad and peered into the water. Oh, she said softly as she looked at her own reflection in the water. I still need to help one more bug. Me! Lily looked into the pond and took her biggest breath of the day and whispered, always remember you are brilliant and bright. I shared my beautiful light. This page says self-love. Lily remembered how important it is to love herself too. Think of all the reasons that you are the incredible person you are by saying these phrases out loud. I am kind, your turn. I am good. I matter. I can make a difference. I can do anything. I am amazing. I believe in me. I am beautiful. Did you say them all? Good job. Breathing break. Taking moments each day to focus on your breath will teach your mind and body to breathe the next time you are feeling a big emotion. Lily wants to teach you her favorite ladybug breath. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth while moving your arms like ladybug wings. Can you try that? Big breath in, ladybug wings. The end. If you liked this book, you might also like Busy Bee Learns to Be. That's another book by Debbie Chamberlain and also a Storytime Saturday. I hope you'll remember to subscribe and I'll keep making these videos. Come see me anytime. Bye-bye.